Hey everyone, I've got some cool toys to show you today. These little guys that are in toy form, plastic toy form, about three inches in height, between two to three inches. These are from Sesame Street. These are plastic toy characters of the Muppets that were on Sesame Street. Very cute show, learning show for children. I remember watching it or having it on in our home when my sister was a little baby girl. And that was in the late 60s, early 70s. So most of these characters that you see here debuted in that time frame. A couple of them are from the 2000s. And I'll show you those as we go through. Bert and Ernie were buddies. They lived in an apartment together and Ernie was always getting on Bert's nerves. Bert, I always thought was a cool character because he had just one brow, a unibrow. And I love their voices, both of their voices. They were great characters, fun to watch. These toys are made in exact replica of those characters. And I love the colorful tops they're wearing, their little shoes. Very nice and very memorable characters. They debuted in 1969. Next, we've got Cookie Monster over here. He just couldn't get enough cookies. I'm surprised that his character doesn't come with a cookie in his hand. He's blue, got big white bulging eyes, and Cookie Monster debuted in 1969 as well. Then we've got Oscar the Grouch. He was gross. He was stinky. He lived in a trash can with a bunch of trash. And he was mean. He was uh, a grouchy, mean guy. He debuted in 1969 as well. I don't know if I ever saw him outside of the trash can in the Sesame Street shows. It's possible. But I remember him always appearing, popping out of the trash can. Then we've got Elmo. Elmo became popular and debuted in 1980. And you probably remember the Tickle Me Elmo doll that everyone wanted for Christmas, one of those Christmases in the 80s, probably shortly after the debut, so I would say 81 maybe. And he was a little red guy. He talked with a high-pitched childish voice. And he was super cute. Fans of that show loved him so much and still love him to this day. So that's Elmo. And then Grover. Grover also debuted in the early 70s. Not 69, he debuted in 70, 1970. He was a kind character, one of my favorites as well. Just very cute. And this looks just like him, this little toy replica. Then who remembers the Count? The Count, 1972 was his debut. He loved to count things and taught children how to count. I think a lot of children learned how to count watching him. I don't remember him having a green cape, but I guess he did. But he was so cool. Very memorable to see him and remember him on that show. I don't watch it now, but I have fond memories of the show. And getting these, I got these in an eBay lot. These are actually from Hasbro. Most of them are from 2013 or 2018. Oh, and then Big Bird. Big Bird was tall, awkward, didn't have much self-confidence, but he was a very cool guy. He had a nest outside, not outside, outside, but in the show set, the outside part, 
he had a big old nest and he would get in there. I don't remember who um, voiced him, but they did a great job. He was debuted also in 1969. Then three characters that I do not recall. I don't remember them. It's probably because they're from the 2000s. This is Abby Kadabi. She debuted in 2006. I don't really know much about her, but she's very cute. She's like a little fairy or dressed as a fairy. Little flowers in her hair and a little flower bouquet. She's very adorable. Looks like she had some freckles. Then I do remember a chef that was on the Sesame Street show, but this is not the chef that I remember. This is Gonger, and he debuted in 2014. He was a pink Muppet with a white hat and a white chef's apron. And then the last one that I have in my collection here is Rosita. She debuted in 1991. She was a bilingual Muppet. She spoke Spanish as well as English. I love the aqua green color and the little yellow bow in her hair. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and I'll see you next time with more cool stuff. Wave goodbye, everyone.